Hello reformers and welcome back to a world of ice and fire. So we are currently in a tournament here. Yeah, I know in the previous episode we were kind of not able to do very well there, but we are going to try and see whether I can do something just a little bit better this time around as we are in free folk territory. So maybe it's going to be, well, slightly easier perhaps who knows anyway let's see how i'm able to do here ah uh, i can't actually tell who's who which is kind of bad but thankfully i did attack someone that's an enemy apparently there we go cell sword has been taken out thank you very much and maybe i can get a couple more kills along the way here as well uh yes i have no idea who is who so i think we probably just have to get extremely lucky ah uh, this is an enemy Oh, that is certainly an enemy. A very formidable one. So let's see if I can do something. Ooh, okay. This is... Is, is there no one else? Yeah, there is someone else, but I, I think... I think there's actually quite a few people, but I think they're probably not mine. Are they? Is that guy an enemy? Yep, that guy's certainly an enemy. Okay, maybe I can do something. 35 damage, that's a little bit. Uh, are they all on the same team? Oh no. If they're all on the same team, then this is bad. But I think I may have just qualified for the next round, so I don't actually mind if I get killed now, I don't think. But I'm going to try and see if I can maybe just eliminate one more, at the very least, because just in case, I want to just make sure that I do get entry to the next round. Anyway, this guy is, yeah, that guy is going to be big problems. Big problems in the next round. Okay, so let's have a look at the participants here. Now, here's the thing. There's the main reason why I'm doing this, and the main reason is the fact that Mance Raider currently has a bad opinion of us. I don't know why. I've only been, uh, you know, reasonably good to him, so I, I don't know why. Anyway, point is, I want to be able to build an enterprise around here, and unfortunately his relation with us is preventing that construction so hopefully we will be able to do something about that reasonably soon yes there we go that's a nice slash unfortunately i haven't really had the opportunity to do much fighting so i generally do have the exact same gear that i had in the previous episode however i do have a lot more money this time around as well so hopefully if i am able i will be able to win this battle or at the very least i will be able to qualify for the next round and maybe that will, well, turn into tournament prize money. That's literally all I want to see here, to be honest. Maybe if I can, oh no, this is, this is not going well. This is not going well at all. I really wish I had better gear, and I probably should have bought some better gear, but I was kind of saving that for an enterprise in the Free Folk lands. So that was the main reason, oh, this is an even, oh no, this is an even more damaged horse, isn't it? Okay, well, I think two kills is probably enough. So, let's see if that is actually the case. It is. Fantastic. Alright, so we do have another 500 to bet here. I've bet 1,500 so far. I do have about 12,000 thanks to the trade route that I did in the previous episode. And obviously a little bit off screen as well. So, let's have a look. Two teams with three fighters each. We do have a Sworn Sword on our side. It feels to me like the Sworn Swords are extremely powerful, so pretty happy to have them on my side, to be honest. Yes, take that fellow off his horse, thank you very much. And maybe we'll be able to get a couple of extra kills here. Yep, no, yep, a oh, little bit out of range. A little bit out of range, but it seems like this one is going to be our first kill because they don't have a shield, and that usually means, well... Somewhat simpler kill than... Whoa, okay. Uh, somewhat simpler kill, you say. Hmm. Seems like I'm being absolutely proven wrong here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that is actually a person on my side. Yep, there we go. We actually won that. Fantastic. Okay, so this is a free-for-all next, which is actually not going to go well. Four teams with one fighter. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm basically just going to stay away from everyone else if uh, actually you know what i could probably take out this guy maybe yeah a little a, a little bit a little bit maybe i could just take out his horse at the very least Ooh, nice critical damage as well yeah there we go okay so we took him out 71 damage really wish i could do that against everyone 
Oh no. Is that a sworn sword once again? Yes it is. Yes it is. Okay, D does this guy have a good sword? Yes he does. Give me that great sword. Thank you very much. Okay, this is gonna be a do or die situation. I don't know whether it's gonna work. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't go over the rocks, little horsey. Going over the rocks is a death sentence by the looks of things, so I do need to be a bit cautious of that. And, oh, this is going to take a while, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, 41 damage. I am so thankful that the other fellow that was obviously fighting that guy beforehand actually did some damage, because otherwise we would have had to go into very close melee range well probably twice or more times and it probably would have been really bad for us so yes I'm, I'm very pleased about that anyway let's see who do I have on my side I hope it's someone good it seems to be someone good oh no this is this is actually kind of bad this is kind of bad because well, we do have someone that is not incredibly good, so it's obviously me. Basically, this is my equal in this particular tournament. And the other guy is also very equal to each other, so if I can eliminate this guy at least... Yes, there we go. That's what we need. Okay, so that guy's done. Now, all we need to do... Yes, thank you very much, Sworn Sword. You did a very good job. Oh no, he's going to be against me now, isn't he? Uh, this is bad. Yes, he is. Okay. Well, let's have fun, shall we? Fight in the next round. Let me see. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I don't think this is going to work out too well, but maybe it will. Oh, my. I literally did three damage to him, and that was a critical. And I had a massive speed bonus. Oh my, this is this is bad. This is really bad. I, I actually don't know how I'm going to do this. I really don't know how I'm going to do this. I guess what I could do is get out my pitchfork <laughs> and just hope he is some kind of, uh, I don't know, some kind of uh, underworld denizen or something. And, uh, you know, getting out the pitchforks, that's probably going to work, but we'll see. Okay, that was not good. Not good at all. This is not a very good weapon. I mean, suffice it to say, it is pitiful. Absolutely. And this is going to take a while, I think. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, maybe I can get another hit of 54 damage. If I can get another hit of 54 damage, this will be a victory for Elias. And that is going to be a massive boon to his, uh, well, to his inventory and to his reputation as well. There we go. We did it. Fantastic. I am so incredibly surprised right now. There it is. Your participation has been has been appreciated, though all they have to offer is an old donkey. Well, I don't really mind. I actually do have a horse. And we also gained 50 renown from this as well, so there you go. 20,000 silver stacks. Can I go into the Lord's Hall now? Yes, I can. Thank you. Okay. So this is great. Because I actually did attempt to get into the Lord Hall before. But unfortunately, they declined. They declined to allow me in here because I was just a peasant. And I am still kind of a peasant. So, yes, hello. Uh, you have minus three. Why do you have minus three? I mean, I'm still working on it. Oh, yeah, I have to capture... Uh, yes, Night's Watch... What is it now? Trainee Rangers or something like that? It's kind of annoying that he has minus three. Uh, uh, well, I guess... I would like to challenge you to a friendly duel. Well, that's not, that's not really going to work. Uh, mm. Well, I guess I'm going to need to go to the other one then and see if I can... Oh, I'm busy. Apparently that person's busy. Uh, yes, they're, they're, oh, well. Hello. Uh, this guy's a vassal. Okay. Do you have any tasks? Are you sure? Are you sure you don't have any tasks for me? Ah, he does. I thought he might. There we go. I will hunt him down and execute the law. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Why not? And I'll look around for any other tasks here. Okay, so I've traveled all the way. Well, it's actually not all the way, but it's very close by. The other town in the Free Folk Lands, which is known as Fen. 
and uh, well, I can now speak to the guild master. And we're going to try and purchase a productive enterprise. Ah, the guild would like to know us a little better. Okay, so this is actually much better than I anticipated. So that means that I can basically... No, I don't want to scroll through the town and uh, well, it actually just put me out in the swamp or something. Anyway, let's go into the inn because we can quite easily mend these fences here. There's actually so many. Oh, hello. Ah. Uh, well, I am going to have to fight this fellow by the looks of things. Take this, evildoer, <laughs> aka known as Drunkard. <laughs> Alright, so we did get a short arming sword there. There's a huge amount of uh, companions in here. And uh, speaking of companions, I did recruit another two companions and sent them off to give me some right to rule, because right to rule is obviously going to be extremely important. Okay, Tavern Keeper, hello there. I would like to buy every man in here a glass, or shall we say a tankard of ale, or whatever whatever the case it may be. There we go. Alright, so thankfully that's good. And, uh, oh, I want to know where I can recruit good soldiers. Ah, why would you need this lot? In fact, I used to be a soldier. Uh, Dick Crab's my name, also called Nimble Dick. You must have heard of me. Fought in many battles, won myself so much glory, I have to be discreet. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, look at that. Legendary hero Sir Clarence used to be his ancestor. They say he was huge and heavy. Oh, he didn't inherit that, though, unfortunately. Okay, so how much are you going to be? How much are you going to be? He's only 1,500. Okay, yeah, why not? Just join me. Why not? Okay, that's absolutely fine. What about Tylan? Ah, he is a ransom broker, by the looks of things. And we have Grendel over here, and oh, he's that guy. Okay, uh, I don't really want to do that. This guy's the traveler person, and he can basically tell us anything we want to know, which is pretty awesome. And otherwise, we have a wildling warrior, which might be kind of nice to take. Why not? Let's get one of those. And otherwise, we can now, hopefully, yes, there we go, build our enterprise. So what are we going to do? Well, let's have a quick look. Well, uh, hmm, Weaver and Dye Works is literally 24 silver stags a week. That is really bad. I'm actually kind of thinking that maybe building an enterprise in this town is not really going to work out too well, but let's have a look. 900, that's pretty good, but that is going to cost me 17,000. I think I obviously have enough of that, otherwise I would have said that I don't. Uh, profit is 500, that's not really that good. Wine... That's 800. That's pretty good, but that is extremely expensive. 26,000. Are you serious? Tannery is going to be, wow, that's in the negatives. We do not want that. Brewery is 700. Oh, 700 is pretty decent, I suppose. So far, the Ironworks is winning. And I think that's, that's probably going to be it. Yeah, the Weavery is even worse. Yeah, that is, that is pretty bad. Okay, so it feels to me like this is going to be the one we'll go for. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's 17,000. That's a lot. That is a lot. But I think we do have a pretty decent amount of money. Yeah, I've got 9,000. And as you can see, I did buy this course. So this was about 2,000 or 3,000. And I did buy a whole bunch of furs and everything. As you can see, I don't really have that much space, unfortunately. So it did end up being, well, shall we say, just a little bit more difficult to uh, tr you know track all those uh, all those furs all over the place and everything but hopefully that ironworks is going to be up and running relatively soon and maybe i'll be able to participate in a couple of battles nearby because the night's watch has infiltrated our uh, our lands here and so maybe we'll be able to you know take them out a bit Ah, uh, what do we have here? We have the Nervous Man. This is obviously the fellow that we need to hunt down for... I think it's... Is it the Weeper? I think it is the Weeper. Now, by the way, I did speak to one of the ladies at the feast after the tournament, and I basically just said, I proclaim myself your most ardent admirer, and so on and so forth, and I also dedicated my success in the tournament to her. We now have a plus eight relation, and we might be able to marry her at some point in the future. Obviously, I'm going to need to do a little bit of grinding to be able to uh, get her relation up a little bit more, because we need to get to 15, and we also need to get the Weeper's permission, because he is her father. So that is obviously going to be a bit harsh, because he does not like us at the moment. Anyway, let's have a look. 
I'm looking for the, by the name of the murderer person. Yes, the nervous man is your name and well, dying is your game, sir. There we go. That is what you get. Anyway, I'm actually going to go and speak to the village elder here. Because I really don't like the relation going down with this village. I would like to be able to do a task for them or something. Ah, there we go. I can teach you how to defend yourself. I think that is probably going to be a pretty easy thing for us to do. So let's go and train the peasants. It's going to take us 10 hours, even though I have a training skill of 3? Oh, wow. It's going to take a while. Ah, it looks like one of them has grasped the training. And, uh, well, it's taken a bit of time, actually. So, yeah, let's see if we are able to do this. Yeah, easy enough, easy enough. It's uh, usually only when they have about three or more that it will be pretty tricky. But for the most part, I think we're okay. We also have... Oh, look at that. Oh, we might have a campaign going on here. We might actually have a campaign of free folk going down and attempting to maybe fight a couple of Night's Watch of Vassals. I would very much like to participate in that. And hopefully we'll be able to. So I'm going to try and get this done as soon as possible. And then we will try and follow on to those vassals. All right. So we're actually in a battle against, well, wildlings. Yeah, there's actually a deserter party full of wildling. I think they are wildling warriors. So we might have some problems here. But yeah, anyway. Basically, what has happened so far is that I've done some letter delivering with, uh, you know, some of the other vassals. And, uh, well, I've, I've actually been attempting to become a vassal, of course, by just generally being a good all-around fellow. However, it doesn't seem to be working. I don't exactly know why, but I am not getting the option. Basically, I'm not getting the option to actually join and pledge vassalage from Mance Raider. So it could just be that Mance Raider himself is kind of not really liking us. So that might make the whole difference, really. And we might need to, well, complete his task. And his task, let me just tell you, is to capture three... Night's Watch trainee rangers. And I can assume that's going to be very difficult. So, yeah, basically I thought to myself, okay, well, what do I need to do to be able to get that accomplished? Because I have imposed a slight law-based restriction on myself by only using wildling units. And while that is actually a pretty, in my opinion, a pretty cool idea, the main problem with it is the fact that I do not have very good units. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, we know, you know, the wildlings are not exactly great units. They are mostly known for being zerg type units. In other words, having a huge amount of them up against your opponent. And unfortunately, I don't really have a very big party size. So I've been attempting to level these guys up. I have a couple of wildling hunters, a couple of regular wildlings. My other people actually did end up dying. So that's obviously not very good. But Hopefully, once we have, uh, you know, leveled up our guys a little bit more, and hopefully once our companions have returned as well, because in this mod, leadership is not a personal skill. It is not a leader skill only. It can be used as a party skill, so it also stacks with your companions. So if your companions have three, four leadership, that can make a huge difference in your own party size, and hopefully we will be able to utilize that once they return. All right, so we have a pretty fantastic situation on our hands here. This might result, and I'm saying might because I have no idea whether it's going to work, but it might result in us getting our three trainee rangers captured for Man's Raider. I don't know whether it's actually going to work because there are over 660 units on our side. Basically, my allies have a huge amount and the enemy well, it doesn't have a huge amount. They only have about 80 or so. And, uh, well, we're going to see how it goes. And I'm pretty sure we'll do okay. I just need to, you know, keep my head down. Try and get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of damage here and there. I do not have... Yeah, this is the big problem. I do not have a blunt weapon. So it is going to be a case of absolute luck. Whether we are going to be able to do anything here. Why am I not... Oh, there we go. I, I thought my text log had bugged out for a second there, but no, no, it's actually working perfectly fine. That's good. And uh, you can also see that I do have some new armor on as well, because 
well, those wildlings that we fought previously, they actually dropped some good stuff that uh, was actually alright for me. So I am actually going to start using that now as we are a wildling member of the free folk, you know. So let's see if we can act like one and uh, oh dear, our side has just lost a leader. That is not good. Okay, well... I mean, we should probably get used to that, considering we are the Wildlings, and technically, you know, we are going to lose a whole bunch of units against the Night's Watch. They are much better, much, much better equipped, and uh, generally much more skilled as well. But we have the numbers, so let's see if that's actually going to make a difference. I am... Uh, are these guys actually shooting? Yeah, they are actually shooting, but they're shooting at me, by the looks of things, which is probably not the best idea. They should probably go and help out their forces. Ooh, I'm, I'm being murdered. I'm being murdered here by this guy. I don't know who that guy is, but... Well, he's he's doing a number on me, that's for sure. Uh, yes, I was hopeful that he might be a little bit more injured than that. Uh, yeah, oh. There we go. Yes, we took out that guy's horse. Okay, so I'm going to need to retreat very, very fast right now. Because if I get myself killed here, I don't know whether I will have the opportunity to take people prisoner. If we have knocked anyone prisoner. Well, unconscious that is. So, yeah, it might just be folly for me to attempt this, but we'll see. I'm going to try and use my spear a little bit as well. Because the spear, even though it is absolutely, well, terrible. I mean, in most in most cases, it's actually got some good piercing damage. And this piercing damage is actually capable of doing quite a number on the opponent. So we'll see if we can utilize it. But you can see here, the enemy is raining down all of their arrows on us. And that is making a big, big difference to how effective they are. I only have 40% left on my shield, so this is going to be pretty bad. Should I just try? I guess. I got a little bit of damage on them. That's not exactly what I wanted, but oh well, okay. Uh, a little bit, yeah, there we go. Okay, that was a trainee ranger. So that's exactly the kind of guy we need to take prisoner. Unfortunately, that is probably not gonna work out too well because they are gonna just die every single time against me because I don't have a blunt weapon, as I said. So I will either need to allow my forces to murder them or, well, knock them unconscious and uh, yeah or, or just have luck be my uh, <laughs> be the thing that I need to rely on which is uh, not exactly great but ha have we uh, no we're actually we're actually all right okay my forces are all the way back there by the way I don't know whether I should tell them to charge in should I tell them to charge in it hasn't really taken that long to level them up or anything so it might make more sense to just chuck them in there and uh, see what they can do because maybe that's going to result in some additional experience for our army that might make sense yeah there we go good got some good damage on those guys and maybe we can get some more there we go i'm just trying to level up elias right now just leveling up elias is a really really important thing really did i really lose one agility yes i did i just lost one agility that is so bad yeah so injuries Injuries are a big thing in this mod, obviously, and uh, that's... Wow, is that the first time I've died? Apparently that is the first time I've died. Okay, well, there you go. It's giving me the battle camera message and all that stuff. Anyway, yeah, so... Hmm, losing one agility. That's kind of harsh, isn't it? But hopefully I will be able to go to a maester and we might be able to... Well, heal it. And uh, then our injury will fade. I, I'm hopeful that that is actually a mechanic that is still in the game. I, I, I hope so, at least. If it's not, then we will have some problems. Ah, there we go. One of the trainee rangers was knocked unconscious by a wildling hunter. Very nice. Okay, I'm actually unsure whether there's been more of those, but I can only hope that there is. And uh, I was actually hoping I might be able to speed up the camera, but it seems like this camera is very cinematic. And I like that. I like that quite a bit because you can see here, look at this. Yeah, I can just do these smooth pans around and everything and uh, it's all very picturesque, shall we say. Yeah, so I'm actually kind of surprised that my shield lasted through that battle because usually my shield is the first to go, but apparently not this time around. All right, so let's have a look at our casualty report. You can see here we lost a lot of people. We lost, well, 124, 81 minor wounds and then we took out 84 in total. 
yeah, the Free Folk are going to be a pretty hard faction to play with, and indeed, uh, well, hard units to play with as well. Anyway, a maester in a large town can treat these injuries. As you can see, it will become permanent in five days. I'm very hap happy that that's actually the case, because I was a bit worried about that. Anyway, we've improved our relation with the Lord of Bones a little bit, improved our relation with the Free Folk as well. Oh! Oh, hello there. And we also get to take him prisoner, which I will be doing, thank you very much. And... Ah, oh, only one, only one trainee ranger. I was so hopeful there for a second. I r was really, really hoping. Oh well, never mind. Never mind. I, I suppose we might be able to pick on a Night's Watch patrol, and we might get the opportunity to uh, go from there and see what happens, but... I don't know. Maybe. Ah, the Dornishman's wife, a very old standby, but moving in its own way. And uh, yes, we've actually increased her relation to 13 now. So we are very close to a marriage proposal of some kind. But obviously, I still need to do a little bit of, well, schmoozing with her father. Of course I am huge. You cannot cut down whole armies with little arms like yours. Can you even wield a battle axe? My name is Shaga, son of Dolph. I am leader of the Stone Crows of the Mountains of the Moon. Wow, that's a, that's a very long title. Don't stare at me like that or I'll feed your manhood to the goats. Ah, uh, do you really want to do you really want to touch that? I don't know. But anyway, uh yes. <laughs> why why doesn't he join me? Why not? Let's get him, shall we? How much is he going to be? Oh, he is 7,000. I, I don't actually have enough for that, which is kind of sad. I actually have a very, very close amount to being able to afford him, and I think it would be really awesome to have him with us. He seems like a pretty suitable and thematic companion for a free, free folk character. So, hmm. Ah, uh, oh, unidentified items with me. Oh, okay. Well, you have some butter here. And uh, some wool cloth and everything. That doesn't that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I, I actually made my way all the way over to Winterfell. Just so that I could, um, well, shall we say, cure my injury. And uh, thankfully there was a maester there, as there are no maesters, as far as I can see, in the Free Folk towns. So that is obviously going to be a bit of an issue as well. So it seems like we're, we're playing definitely on a much higher difficulty than, uh, than other people, because we do have that, that extra travel time to go for. But anyway... I think we should be good as long as we can... Uh, whoa, that fur is very expensive. Yeah, as long as we can sell this fur on and uh, continue to do the trading and everything. And uh, it's just unfortunate that I'm not really able to find a ransom broker. I really wanted to sell my prisoners so that I could potentially get, well, the companion. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, let's have a look at this guy. Good to see you again. What? Why does he have 20... Why does he have 27 relation with me? He must really like me for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why that is. Oh, yeah. This is a guy that was actually doing a huge amount of tasks for, actually. I remember now. Anyway, I tend to pass by Shadow Tower. Sure, I'll go and deliver this. And it actually looks like Shadow Tower is actually a Night's Watch thief. And so I decided, hey, you know what? What have I got to lose? Not much. I mean, you know, I've got a couple of good pieces of... Well, I've got a good horse. That's, that's basically it. And I do have a couple of... Decent units, nothing really spectacular. So I thought, hey, let's just try and sneak in. And it's apparently worked. So there you go. Disguised in the garments of a poor pilgrim, you fool the guards and make your way into the town. So let's go and tour the grounds then, shall we? Because we do need to go and find Sir Dennis Malister. I believe he's going to be in here. Ah, well, as it turns out, I did not even need to disguise myself and sneak in because that doesn't really do anything. It basically just takes you into the courtyard. And so instead, I could just request a meeting with this guy, and he now comes out. So easy enough. Very, very easy. Okay, so, oh, they know me. <laughs> they know me as Elias Fremont the Great. Tales of my courage in battles are told all across the known world. Yeah, I'm actually not called the Great. I'm just called Elias Fremont. So I'm, I'm Elias Fremont, sir. Even though you are technically... Whoa, he does not like us one bit, as you can see right there. Yeah, I believe I actually... Yes. 
I believe I actually did steal some cattle from his village. Well, I'm currently doing something very risky indeed. On my way back from the castle, I am, uh, well, attempting to lure the Lord Commander himself as well as a particular person, as you may see in the uh, in the army there, into an ambush. And so we're going to see whether that actually will work. Unfortunately, it appears as though the Weeper is running away, but... Oh, hello there. It seems like we do have someone... Can you... Come over here. Come over here, person. C uh, come on, I'm, t I'm taking a really big risk here because I am much slower than Mr. Mormont, so that is not particularly good. Oh, look at this. You ha you, oh, look, you happen across an abandoned house. And apparently I get some, I get a lance. Let me, let me use that lance. That lance is going to be extremely good. All right, so could, could he, could he come over here? Come on. He, this guy only has 122 in his army. He actually only had 80 when I came across him, but he has replenished his forces so incredibly fast. Well, uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's that's why they call this basically one of the hardest mods of all time. And uh, I think it's, I personally would say that it's probably harder than Pendor and Perizno. And those are, well, they're right up there. They're right up there. Anyway, 2,900 silver stags from, uh, well, Sisterton here. I'm actually just going to be selling a whole bunch of fur and uh, just getting on my trade route in my off-screen time. And then hopefully... When we return, I will have my companions back, and I will maybe have enough money, I think I will have enough money, to be able to recruit that companion in the tavern that we met earlier. And he seems like a pretty cool one to get, so maybe he's going to have some cool stats to help us out as well. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.